Uh, so this is a long one. Um, I actually had to uh, cut this one down a little bit. Um, so this was a question about um, in, incurring an additional insurance premium for the school police officers that we have in our district who are armed um, and uh, the costs associated with their role in the pension system and would it be better instead to work essentially with a local police department instead and have police officers from the department uh, in these roles versus them being our employees. Um, so I'll give a minute for everybody to read through that. And so, um, you know, we talk about uh, the day and age that we're in in schools um, and what is, uh, as a school district, what we've had to do and believe we need to do is we have two, um, two gentlemen who are in uh, school police officers role, police officer roles for our school district. The first one is actually an admin position. It's a director of safe schools position. He is a retired state trooper, former uh, military uh, person, and um, his role beyond just being a school police officer is also monitoring our all hazards plan, doing training for our whole staff, um, uh, looking at uh, you know making sure we're our, any kind of needs assessments, um, connections with our local community. Um, community policing is a big emphasis for him um, in his role, but he does serve in a director role for the program of safe schools. Uh, last year, we added a second person. We were able to actually start this through a state grant, um, but the state no longer funded it, so we have, are taking it over. Um, and that person serves as a school police officer. Both of these gentlemen are armed. Um, the school police officer, the second role, he serves more as the officer that you will see visiting all the buildings, patrolling. Um, John, who is our director of safe schools, primarily is stationed at our high school. Um, and then the, our other officer does the middle school. He gets to the high school, but does our other buildings as well. So some of the related costs, as a total budget for both of them in terms of total compensation, it's 157,000. For the second school police officer, not the administrator, 54,000 is the total compensation program for this police officer. And in regards to incurring a charge for the insurance premium, we do pay an extra $7,000 insurance premium because the two of them are armed. They do have to get certified annually um, through training to make sure uh, you know, that, their, that their training is, is is up to speed to be armed. So the, the question was, why not use local police departments? Well, a couple things to think about. We have six educational buildings that are in three different municipalities. municipalities. Our high school and our middle school is in Shillington. This campus is in Kumru. And we have our Brecknock Elementary that's in Brecknock Township. So that's three different municipalities. And if you know anything about how municipalities work and <coughs> police force, it's kind of the line is the line. There's, there'll be support in times of emergency, but in terms of arresting power or other authorities, the line pretty much dictates what the Shillington police do, what the Coomer police do, and what the Bracknock police do. The benefit that we have with the two school police officers is they have jurisdiction to our entire all of our buildings, they're not bound by any, by any municipal boundaries. Okay? They do work in cooperation with local police, and so you will see at times Coomer police officers, we do invite them in, or Shillington, so that they get to know the students, and they're a familiar face. Um, but by having two school police officers on our own staff, they're salary employees, not hourly employees. Okay? And then not only that, but if we were to go to the municipal municipalities, to ask them to staff these positions, they, in a sense, would have to add an additional officer to their force. You know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that none of the townships have extra police officers to be able to dedicate full time to our buildings. So I know that in a neighboring district where I spent some time, they did have a school resource officer that was part of that township, um, that township's police department. He was an additional officer on that department. However, in that district, they had more than just one township. So he was only able to operate 
in one township. And some of the buildings that we had in a, in a separate township, he had no jurisdiction nor authority. So he really wasn't serving the entire district. He really can only work with the, the few buildings that were in that township. The other thing is that in that district's relationship, there was a shared cost. So yes, the district shared in a cost for that officer, but the township also had to agree that they were gonna pay their cost for that officer to support the school system. So if we were to go to a model where we would use the local police officers, we would have to go to Coomer Township, Bracknock Township, and Shillington, and ask the community members of that township to agree to add additional officers to their force, which would come as you know, a tax increase, I would assume, or some need to pay for that expense on a township or borough level. So we as a district um, have gone the course of having two uh, police officers that are, that are our own and um, have the authority and jurisdiction in every one of our buildings. Um, and they're able to do a lot more than, than just be a police officer. They take care of our truancy, they help us with our residency issues, um, they, again, like I said, they help us with training our staff and our students, running our drills, and so we believe we're able to, and there's no slight to local police departments, we have great relationships with them, but we believe we're able to get a lot more community policing from having the two school police officers on, on campus, um, you know, one station primarily at high school, the other one stationed at the middle school, but getting around to our other buildings. 